Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Desk. I'm Chad. That's Amy. And today we're going to be talking about personal assistance while in Medellin. Hello, my dear. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, um, switched out your camera. You did. Everything I looks am clearer. clear. <laughs> Significantly clearer. So that's exciting. Um, I also widened our angle so that oh yeah, there's less bars. I see that. Um, small little things, right? It's the keep little growing, things. Keep going. Keep going. As you learn as you go. Yeah. So uh, today we're going to be talking about assistance. Yeah specifically in person, in person. right so not virtual assistants but people that'll be helping us um while we are in columbia yeah. and um i think there's there's a spectrum of needs there's a whole list spectrum is the wrong word there's a whole list of things that people need yeah um and it can be everything from having a pet sitter to helping you to babysitter to helping you with technology and the, there's there's solutions for that. Yeah. And we found several solutions, um, various websites, various agencies, but there's also the option to do it directly with them. And mm-hmm. so we kind of want to talk a little bit about what's the difference between hiring somebody directly, hiring somebody through an agency, yeah. and then what we're choosing. And then we'll go over a couple of the options that we found. Absolutely. So, yeah, start us off. Um, okay. Yeah, so if you're hiring somebody directly... Um, In Colombia, there's a responsibility, Mm -hmm. right? Whenever you hire somebody, there's a responsibility that you pay into the system and you're paying into the system on their behalf for their healthcare. Healthcare, um, their social security, all of that kind of stuff. Right. So as an individual, uh, the way Colombia has it set up is you're required to do it. Where here in the States, things can be a little bit different. You can 1099 somebody Mm -hmm. and they're responsible for their own stuff. Um, that's not the case. They want to make sure not only everybody contributes, but everybody's taken care of. Right. Because they do have a for citizens global health mm-hmm. piece in place. Um, and so to ensure that everybody is contributing, they make it the responsibility of anybody who's hiring. Right. right? So that you can pay into their health care um, through the, the EPS system, which is like their everybody has health care that lives, you know, that lives there. In Colombia, um, but that is like a universal healthcare system or private healthcare. Um, yeah, so you could do either for that person, but they have to have a health insurance, and you are their employer. If you go that route, you have to pay that, or you can go through an agency where they pay for it. Right. So that's going to be the significant difference, mm-hmm. and that is also um, the direction we're leaning. Yes. Uh, so. We're only there for three months. We're only there for three months, but we there's going to be plenty of things that we're going to need help yeah. with, and um, it, it's in our best interest to bring somebody on that's going to be able to help us with those things. It's bilingual. Who's bilingual? And yes, absolutely. So let's. There's a price difference when it comes to these things. Mm-hmm. Right. If it's and like like anything else, if you were to rent directly from somebody, you might be able to get an apartment for five hundred. But if you Airbnb it, maybe it's eight fifty or more. <laughs> yeah. Right. And so you have to consider what are you, what additional are you paying for, and what value does that equate sure. to? So part of it is when you hire through an agency, they take care of the employment contributions mm-hmm. that are required. Right. So there's going to be a little increase because they need to offset their costs. And you have to know, you know, what's going to work better for you. And for us, um, we prefer less stress. And like I say, if we were going to be there for six months, I don't know, maybe a different, we would take a different avenue or having already have been there for three months. And now we have made more friends and we know more living there. So, you know, we have more contacts, if you will, versus going down there for the first time for that long, longer period of time, I think you, and that's why we chose to do Airbnb instead of renting local to begin with, because we want to learn the different areas. And I think the same goes for a personal assistant, right? We just, we're going to take kind of the easier route first. Um, and we're willing to pay a little bit more, uh, to have that less stress 
Agreed. Yeah. And then when you also, when you hire somebody directly, you're going to have, um, in my experience, certain protections sure. as well. Right. So, uh, it, the simplest way I can put it is if you hire somebody directly, uh, I meant agency, but if you hire somebody directly, um, they could just not show up. Right. Mm-hmm. But if somebody's working for an agency, there's going to be most likely departments sure. and accountability in place to ensure that they deliver excellence to their customers. Sure. Us. So the likelihood of somebody showing up when they're supposed to is going to be better than if we were to just find somebody off of uh, Facebook. Right. And also retention. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody might say, I don't like their dog. I'm good with dogs, but I don't like their dog. I'm not going to go back. Where right. with an agency, they probably have to go through the proper channels and they'll replace that person mm-hmm. with somebody else. Right. So you're going to have some protections as well. And that's going to be part of the premium uh, versus hiring somebody directly. Sure. So there's going to be definitely benefits with doing the, with the agency hire versus the direct hire. And I think that's definitely the right choice for us, yeah. at least on this first one. But like you mentioned, as we make connections, as we get to know more people, we may find a perfect person that for a six month run is going to say, I got you. I got you. You guys are great. We, you know, I, I enjoy being around you. Mm-hmm. You're good people. I would rather secure my time and my future working with you guys than mm-hmm. bouncing around from place to place and not sure. knowing where they're going next. And who knows? They may be able to the other six months that we're here in the States, they could do virtual work for us. Like we we just don't know what that could turn into. Yeah, absolutely. And having a Colombian bank account, we could certainly pay them, you know, in Colombian pesos, which is what they need. Yeah. That's actually a really um, great point Mm -hmm. is, is um, I I love the relationship aspect of it. I think that goes a long way. We do that with our business Mm -hmm. here. I mean, I just got off the phone with a guy. He said, I got, got a hot lead for you. Why? Because I built a relationship Mm -hmm. that this guy says, I trust Chad. I want to make sure that I, the people that I trust work directly with them. Absolutely. And we want to do that as well and make sure that we're showing up, you know, when we are in Colombia as well, that we're not down there to just take that. We're also, we want to be able to give back. Absolutely. Um, so we've got several, um, several agent. So we're in agreement. Agency is the right way for us, right? For us. I and, think so. And, yeah. And so we're going to kind of showcase what that looks like, uh, on here because it makes the most sense for us, but obviously somebody wants to hire direct. There's lots of options for that as well. Um, we're not going to focus on that cause that's not really our goal, our plan. Um, but we are going to take a look at a couple of, um, platforms that are agency driven that can help us. Um, before we jump into that, let's go over a couple of the th- things so a couple of oh, we'll just say like three to five major things that we want to make sure we have um for us mm-hmm. what, what we're hiring a personal assistant for yeah so a pet sitter we need somebody to watch the sadie girl <laughs> so we could uh take a day trip somewhere or i don't know go out to dinner um we love our dog and she is very well trained but she is still um still has some separation anxiety when we leave the house and we absolutely are not willing to take a chance on her chewing anything up in an Airbnb that doesn't belong to us. Not a chance. Not a chance. So, and I think that would be great for her as well. Um, being in a new place as we discovered, you know, we went up to uh, Northern Michigan to celebrate our one year anniversary and found that Sadie had to literally sleep beside us in her little house. She was not willing to sleep in another room. We're here at home. She sleeps out here in the living room. We sleep in the bedroom with the door closed. So, but this is her safe space. And so we found out very quickly that it takes her a minute. Yes. And she was really ready to come home. She was. She had a blast. She had a blast. She had a huge yard to run in. She had carpet, which she loves so she can get the zoomies. So it was really uh, a new experience for us to see how she did in a new place. So I think having a pet sitter that can take her out, take her for walks, go run with her, play with her, just hang with her um, is really good. Yeah. Uh, Another thing is going to be that um, translation aspect. So if we have paperwork or we have uh, visits to certain places that we need assistance with somebody translating, not just verbally, but also if there's paperwork helping right. us with the paperwork. Like as the well. bank, right? Like you have a bank account there, but to go to the bank, they speak Spanish. So we might need somebody going with us if we needed to open up a savings account or add me or whatever it might be. Right. Uh, getting a cedula, me, 
I'm going to have to, I'm going to need a Colombian ID. How do we, you know, it's all in Spanish. And right. yes, I can read quite a bit, but there's little room for error for stuff like that. And I would rather have somebody, you know, know how to do all of that. Yeah. Agreed. Um, okay. What else do we have? So that's uh, we got pet, we got translation. So if you are somebody, uh, that you would like to go to the doctor with you or the dentist to be able to explain what you've got going on or something and the, they do have bilingual doctors, but they're not in excess there. So although you, if you have like Sora, if you're insured by, by them, they can help you find a bilingual doctor. Um, but what if you can't? What if you're with another insurance company? Or what if you don't have health insurance while you're there? Say it's just travel insurance that you have, right? You Who do you go to? Or what if you don't like What if you bilingual? don't like the bilingual yeah. doctor? Exactly. You so, like narrowed your pool from maybe right. we'll call it 50 down to 10. Yeah. So now you only have 10 to work with. And maybe they're not Yeah. And you, you don't know how to fill out the paperwork because you chose not to learn Spanish. <laughs> you know, those kind of things. Which most people don't want to learn Spanish. And I get it. It's, it's not you know, an easy thing to do and we're all busy or whatnot, but just know that you're setting yourself up if you go down there and don't know it. So you want, if you want to hire yourself a personal assistant to help with that kind of stuff as well. What if you need them to book travel for you? Or I mean, there's so many different things. Um, but for us, we need an in-person versus a lot of people just use virtual. So an additional uh, task, I yeah. guess maybe an additional task um, that we're looking for is also some convenience tasks like um, housekeeping. Um, that's something that we would like to have. That's on mm -hmm. our like list, but that At might be a separate, once a week. maybe a separate person. Maybe, it is going to probably be a separate person, but sometimes they do that. Right. Light housekeeping they can do for you. Right. And that's just kind of maintaining, maybe doing a little bit of the dishes, just keeping upkeep. Right. Um, but it may not be like your deep cleans and your baseboards and that yeah. sort of stuff. Right. And sometimes, you know, if you want to hire yourself a housekeeper um, and it's okay to hire a housekeeper that speaks Spanish and not English um, need, you need to know a little bit of, of Spanish, but sometimes they'll do a little light cooking for you as well. So they'll cook several meals, pop them in the fridge and you can eat them as you go. So I think that's such a huge benefit. Um, especially we cook all the time. Wouldn't it be great to, have that stuff already made and it be fresh and good and healthy instead of a frozen yeah. packed with toxins <laughs> and, and and grocery shopping. That's yeah. also an option as well. Yep. They can grocery shop for you or you can order off a wrappy. Right. So, okay. So let's, let's jump into a couple of these um, agencies just to show what we've got going on there. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to go full screen here. So here's the first one. You found this one. Um, tell us a little bit about what we got here. So I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Ahem, Ser, I think. Not really sure. So Bogota, Medellin, and Cali, um, they have offices in all three places. And um, these are temporary. They have temporary people that come in. So I love that they say, they say um, so this is translated, by the way. So if it reads a little strange, it's because um, Google went ahead and, tra or our, um, is it Google? Yeah. Translated this automatically for us. So responsibility and security guaranteed. So that means you're going to have somebody show up to do the job. They're responsible about that. But they're also security guaranteed, which in here in the States, I would assume bonded. Yeah. Or something similar so to like it. Insured. Or insured something. something. Yeah. So if you can scroll down for me a little bit, yep. please. Um, so they offer temporary employees for temporary services, domestic workers um, that offer solutions in real time, meaning right then. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if this is something you would want to do, but. They, well, they seem to be a really great, um, I love that they have a blog now from SEO purposes. <laughs> it just was like really cool to see that. But if you could hover over services for me, Chad. So domestic workers, temporary employees, babysitters, cleaning and sourcing and the outsourcing we looked at. And it was really for like businesses. So if you're a business and you want your office cleaned or something like that. So um, if you click on domestic workers and scroll down for me. Um, so they do it day, week, weeks, you know, so they offer either of that. Um, 
cleaning, cooking, taking care of babies, children, um, as the most important, it says. Um, they also have this option down here where it says live in, live in or, oh, yes. or daily. So in Colombia, it um, is common to have live in maids, uh, especially if you have children. So um, larger homes, if you will, um, that Estrada five and six, they may, if they have a home, um, they will have a live in maid and the maid does the cooking, the cleaning, the au pair, like taking care of children and things like that. So, um, I found that to be very cool. Yep. So they live home. Nannies, nurses, all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is a great resource if that's the lineup of needs that you're going to be looking for. Um, Ready to jump to the next one? Go for the next one. Okay. So here's the next one. Um, this uh, Connecto, uh, Connecto Columbia, is lots of stuff. Tours. They, they had, I'm just going to breeze through this really quickly. This was pretty cool. You've got, yes, there, there's so much that they have on their lineup. It's a little things. overwhelming, however. Um, but when we jump into the services area, several uh, different things. So you know, lifestyle executive, and they also have like their time and, and, how, much. The, and how much per that time piece. Right. And so each one is going to be a little bit different. So for a chef, five hours, hundred bucks, but then the personal assistant. So the way this appears to book, and obviously we can jump in and talk to them directly, um, but it appears that you get uh, a personal assistant for an eight hour chunk and your cost is on. Right. And so you can click book now find them on the calendar, book that person. And now you have, I'm sure there's a little eight bit of, hours. Solid. And I'm sure there's a little onboarding. So they know what to expect. Sure. Um, but get a personal assistant that's designed to help you with all of the things that you need. This was expensive. Um, if you scroll back up for me, you could see under the bottom, like personal chef services, it says explore plans. Well, with that um, personal assistant piece, they don't have that. Yeah. So, ten dollars every month um and then it gives you so you have to have the membership in order i think to get that's what we do yeah. yeah so once you're a member then you have access to that yeah but it wasn't under the personal assistant right so this could be like a just an a la carte, an book a la carte. yeah and then just to breeze through a couple of the other ones they have so um settle in package i imagine this is where they show you around tell you what they give you a little interesting. bit interesting um, tours, coffee tours, uh, food tours. So there's interesting just, that that said Sabaneta. <laughs> yeah. So the Sabaneta tour. We could do that. <laughs> 10 bucks, 10 bucks for two hours. Yeah. Two hour tour for 10 bucks. So really, uh, inexpensive, um, four wheeler. So they have a lot of things. Um, we guest using, um, who, what's the name of it? JJ. George. George, yeah, but the name, the name oh, of the company, uh, JJM Tours. Tours, JJM De Tours. Okay, I'll I'll link it in. The link it in the description uh, because we have personally experienced these folks a couple of times. Phenomenal, just phenomenal. And it, follow them on Instagram. It, they you can see the di- types of experiences they handle. Uh, a couple of things about them: one, they use. Um, SUVs, so yes. you, all your luggage fits really nicely. It's air air conditioned. conditioning smells nice. Clean. Um, bilingual, clean. Mm-hmm. Like it is just a great experience. And when you're traveling with two giant uh, check bags, two large dog, uh, dog, like we, that's a need for us. Yes, it, it won't be in the taxi. It just won't. Um, okay, we got two more. One is that uh, this is the one that keeps coming up all the time everywhere. Um, and there's some things that I like about it. There's things that the other ones may be a little bit more straightforward with. One of the things I really liked about this is your prospective um, assistant has a profile, mm-hmm. which means you get to explore the people as opposed to just saying, I'm booking the service and then you get what get you who get. Who get, yeah. So you can kind of pick and choose based off of their credentials and based off of who they are rather than they're fit best with right. you. So I brought up this person um, because it was the first person that came up, but I brought up this person who lives in Medellin, who lives there. Um, aged is great. Uh, Colombian, um, you know, three years of paid experience. So they've been working, they've been in the workforce for a bit, has a driver's license. So 
I'm just going to go has through a passport. Has a passport. I'm going to go through some of the bullet points where we can then kind of screen our pre-screen our people before actually reaching out to them. So you get your qualifications, you get your personal information, and then when you come down here, assistant experience, and then software and tech experience. Now, this part to me is a differentiator than the other ones because as a personal assistant, you may need help with some of your business stuff like accounting or data entry. You can utilize a person for more than just dog sitting, cooking, and cleaning. You can utilize them for additional things, which means be able to offload some of your day-to-day tasks. Right. And if you're contributing to that community, I would love to be able to, um, you know, fund a Colombian to do his work. Possible. Absolutely. Right. And so it's going to give you their personal assistant experience. So some of the things that they check or don't check are going to be shopping and errands, transportation, travel planning. of assistant. That's a big one. For that us, was a big one. We spotted that immediately. Kitchen assistance, um, white housekeeping, photo editing. And then the only one that this particular person did not check was vacation assistance, but that is an option in the profile. Yeah. Features. Yeah. Not a need for us, so not a big deal. And then you go down to the software and tech proficiency. Um, it gives a list of the various ones. So this gives you kind of an idea of how techie and what kind of work you could delegate to them versus right. what things just don't make sense. And that them. she can type 80 words in it. That's great. Yep. And then a little bit lower, you get your availability. So when are they available? If had, you know, all of Wednesday and Thursday off and they're 23 years old, they might also be in school. And so you can kind of, you get a really good idea of who this person is before actually interacting with now, they do put in what their requested salary is, and a week is quite expensive. Now, my assumption is going to be that this 500 to 1,000 is going to be for a load. Right? Live for in. Live probably. in, full load, all of it, like handling everything, but also Monday through Friday um, morning. Full Saturday. time. Yeah. Yeah. And so if we were to say Tuesday morning and a Friday evening person, right? So maybe six hours a week, and we want to do that consistently. My assumption is that this is going to be significantly less, but it may also be where a person, they don't want to waste their time with that. It's not worth it to them. And so it gives you insight, but you still have to go through and find everything that sure. works for you. But then also they, uh, you meet their expectations. So this well. could be a great option for us, for somebody else. But I also see the lifestyle there, which I love the fact that they're a non-smoker. I love that I'm seeing two languages. So they're Bible right up front. They also say they have a tattoo. Wow. You know, that's just their honesty. That's a, that's a transparency kind of thing that I like. The second um, one is to present um, food restrictions. No food yeah. restrictions. Like, you know, somebody could be allergic to peanuts. We don't know. Right. right. Uh, the tattoo thing. I just like, I don't really care if you have a tattoo or not, but the transparency piece around that was like, really important. Um, and they'll work. They will work for smokers. They're comfortable with that. That was huge. They're willing to travel 15, how much to say? Miles or 24 kilometers. Now, living in Medellin, us being in Sabe, I don't know if that would work or not, but I love that they have that on there. And I do believe most things are negotiable in Colombia. Yes. Cash is king there. And then preferred countries. Um, so these are, they don't have the United States on there. So I think, <laughs> yeah, I, I think these are destinations. So they would be willing Travel. to. Yes. Perfect. Because some personal assistants go with the people that are hired with them because they're sometimes we need up, sometimes they're right, right. right. And so they're, these are the places that they're willing to go. Yeah. Um, it not is inter- interested in the States. It is interesting. <laughs> Canada is down here, but not the States. <laughs> Blame them too yeah. much. Or maybe this is the first round of check have, marks. We maybe have beautiful places to visit here in yeah. the States. Um, so this is great. And there's lots of profiles. Like if we just go back really quick, we'll see, you know, there's several profiles here and then you can also do filtering. Yep. Now let's jump into, um, one our, of our favorite favorite and, uh, the, the people that we just adore. I'm going to let you talk a little yeah. bit about the masterclass. So this is the, the Medellin class. So you've probably heard me talk quite a bit about Andrew Messina and, um, K. Joel. So these are two gentlemen that have started um, a business helping people move to Medellin um, or Envigado or Sabaneta. Um, and they have these master classes. Now, I we already took the first one 
and I could pay I was like three five hundred dollars something like that that we paid for the first one and it had a lot of really great information in there uh, that really helped Chad and I make make the decision help helped us make the decision they have tons of videos both of them have their own uh youtube channels as well andrews is the metagene buzz and then um ak joel's you can just type in um i follow them both so anytime a new one pops up i get to watch them and it's really fantastic because something that tugged at my heart and let me know how good these guys how good they are is they both are huge contributors to um helping Colombia now which is a local nonprofit and they help children uh, who are in orphanages which as you know Chad uh was placed in an orphanage at birth and so it's kind of near and dear to my heart plus I work with kids mostly at risk youth so here we you know this is even better so they teach English classes there to the kids um and so that was just a huge transparency piece for me so they're not just there to take your money. These guys, they have already met with us, uh, online. We did like a 15, 20 minute consultation. We've emailed back and forth. So they're very personable. And when you join this, if you do the $1,500 one, um, oh my gosh, you have all these modules that you get to take. Um, and 21 modules, it says, um, Talk lo uh, rent local, how to rent like a local, like all these really important, valuable uh, tools and information to help make your decision easier. And then you can do that P relocation. Um, so when Chad and I get ready to make that move move and we're ready to purchase a place and, and all those kinds of things, that would be the package that we would do from there because they literally do it for you, which is awesome. So they both speak Spanish, both speak English. Um, and they're just all around good guys. And the other piece to this is that you, when you join this, they accept you because they are picky about who they bring in. Um, they want positive people that are actually going to able be able to contribute to uh, Colombian society, to the people there, the people, um, and not just be takers. Uh, so you also are immediately um, in in a community. So they meet like once a month. They can either they do personal meetups in Medellin. Uh, which is a hop, skip, and a jump. It's not that far from where we'll be in Sabaneta. So you have a, 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 a community already where a lot of expats move and they really don't know anybody or have, have any friends, especially if you are alone um, and not going with a spouse or partner or have a family. So they're our favorites and they actually will give you a list. Um, so I believe, Chad, you said one is the the $1,500 is where they give you a list and you reach out and call these folks um, or with the the VIP package they find the people for you so if you need a personal assistant they got you if you need whatever they've got you so um, these guys are phenomenal they don't pay me for us to do is to promote them we have had we have personal experience with them and actually I can't wait to you know to move forward with with a lot of this stuff with them so it's awesome yeah so we put we, we put a couple of different screens up on the screen, a couple of screens up on the screen. <laughs> and um, it's both the, um, you know, tier A package and the tier B. Um, we're going to have links to all of these places so you can go through and start exploring on your own as well. But uh, like you mentioned, I mean, we know we want to go the agency route, get that started. To start it, yeah. Build some relationships, get to know some people, and maybe we go the direct route because then we can contribute directly. Um or we find somebody that's just phenomenal. I mean, look what happened when we were down there and, you know, we had somebody that came yeah. at no for free that just did it out of the kindness of her heart, who I met through my Spanish teacher through italki. Right. Like, <laughs> how does that even happen? Right. Such a kind and beautiful person. And definitely something that, no, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say you don't, it, that's not as frequent in the United States. It's not. States. <laughs> no. But I haven't met Much everybody. Much less in a, another country, right. you know. Just so. great people. And, um, and you know, frankly, we're good people. We attract good people. And so it makes sense to me yeah. that we would have gotten somebody like that. Yeah, right? and not just that, but even Jorge. And just like, like the whole All trip yeah. was just spectacular. Okay, cool. So we'll link everything in yep. the description. So drop to the bottom. You can click your links, copy and paste. Um, check them out uh, because they have essentially the do it do it with you 
or package where you go through you. the modules mm-hmm. where you also have monthly uh, connects where you get to interact with the community, but also them. Yeah. Uh, so they're there for you on the support side. And then the done for you where they help you with everything. Right. It's a it's a catered experience, right. um, which alleviates a lot of the guesswork. And a lot of the questions, which is great, especially if you're not fluent in Spanish, uh, because it's my understanding that everything is negotiable there. You negotiate, you buy something and you don't want to pay that price. You say, this is what I'll pay. And it's kind of a thing that you do back and forth. Right. So all good. Um, so, yeah. What are we going to talk about next week? We forgot to talk we, about that. Did we not decide? We didn't decide. Oh, my goodness. Let's so decide. we'll just leave it as Oh, a you know what? We did decide. We did? We're going to talk about our packing list. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So uh, the board that you see behind Amy, we have our agenda month by month, a couple episodes. Along we went, with our weekly menu, I'm yeah, sure. We, we went over that um, of all the things that we want to accomplish and how to break them up uh, month by month and packing list. That's the one that we're going to be going over. What are the mandatories? What are the things we absolutely have to have? And then in July, we're going to do a test pack of those things to make sure it fits, meets weight, uh, all, all the logistics. Are we going to film some of that? Are we going to record we some of that? We should. We should do we some should. behind the scenes and PTS yeah. on that. Because there's the whole thing about roll your stuff or lay it flat. There's all kinds of different packing techniques. Hacks. See what hacks we can come See up with. See what hacks we can come up with. So yeah, So thanks guys so much. Uh, And until next time, keep expanding your horizons and living beyond the desk. Have an extraordinary week. 